Hello everyone. I am Dr. Lakshmi Kumar. I am an interventional radiologist at Pace Hospitals, Hyderabad. Today we will discuss about a safe and effective procedure called uterine artery embolization. Uterine artery embolization is a minimally invasive procedure commonly done for bleeding due to uterine fibroids but it can also be done for other conditions like bleeding due to uterine trauma or bleeding after childbirth or bleeding due to uterine cancers. So these are all the conditions in which uterine artery embolization procedure is done. So the uterine artery embolization procedure is commonly done by an interventional radiologist. So interventional radiologists, uh, they do a minimally invasive procedures using imaging guidance. So in this procedure, what we do is we access the artery in your groin region or in your wrist region using a thin needle and through that needle we place one long thin catheter or a tube and through this catheter we will inject one dye or contrast with the injection uh, we can see under x-ray what are the arteries supplying the uterus and the uterine fibroids after confirming what are the arteries supplying your uterine fibroids we will uh, selectively cannulate those arteries and then we will inject uh, particles uh, made of uh, gelatin or plastic and with the help of these particles we will uh, cut off the blood supply to the uterine fibroids. So after this uh, procedure uh, we will uh, stop the bleeding from that uh, groin artery or the wrist artery and uh, then the patient is kept for, uh, in observation for one day and uh, later we will discharge the patient. So, before a patient is taken for uterine artery embolization, the doctor will examine and uh, take the history, medical history, what are the medications you are uh, taking and uh, what uh, is there any medical condition you have and is there any other uh, uh, conditions that you have and we do some uh, basic tests to check the bleeding status like CBP, PTI, NR and uh, then uh, we'll uh, do some scans ultrasound scan and MRI scan uh, if required hysteroscopy to check uh, wow, how, how many fibroids are there, what are the blood vessels that are supplying the fibroids and what is the appearance of fibroids, what are their locations. So after that we will plan the procedure and uh, before procedure you need to be on fasting for uh, 6 hours for solids and uh, clear liquids 2 hours. After that we can do the procedure. So uterine artery embolization is commonly done for uh, patients uh, with uterine fibroids experience symptoms like uh, heavy bleeding during menstruations or bleeding in between menstruations or uh, heavy uh, cramps during menstruation and uh, large fibroids uh, causing pressure symptoms like uh, frequent urination and uh, frequent uh, pain during uh, sexual intercourse or uh, constipation due to pressure symptoms or uh, abdominal bloating or increased uh, pelvic pressure symptoms. So these are the patients with uterine fibroids. If they have these symptoms, then they will do procedure for uh, these patients. Also, uh, after childbirth, if you have uncontrolled bleeding, then also we can do this uterine artery embolization or if uh, there is a trauma to uterus and it is causing bleeding then also it's an indication for uterine artery embolization. Also in some patients due to uterine cancer you may develop uh, uh, torrential bleeding. In those situations also uterine artery embolization is helpful. So patients uh, with the uterine fibroids and they are asymptomatic means they don't have any symptoms then there is no need to do this uh, procedure. Second, if you are pregnant, uh, then also we avoid doing this proce procedure. And third is uh, infection. If you have any pelvic infection, uh, then we wait uh, to, uh, till the infection resolves, then we can do the procedure. So to detect uh, all these conditions, first we do some tests uh, uh, to detect the pregnancy and to detect the infection. If they are not present, then we will proceed with the procedure. So uterine fibroids can be treated by different means. One is by surgical means. Surgery we have a 
hysterectomy that means removal of entire uterus second is myomectomy means uh, uh, surgical uh, removal of only fibroids either laparoscopic or open removal and third option is our uh, minimally invasive uh, option that is uterine uh, artery embolization and one more option is uh, MR guided uh, uh, ultrasound uh, therapy so these are the treatments available so compared to uh, yeah, surgical procedures uh, that is uh, hysterectomy and the uh, uh, myomectomy the advantages of uterine artery embolization are it is a very minimally invasive procedure uh, there is no scars after the procedure there is no requirement of general anesthesia for the procedure uh, the hospital stays only for one day and uh, you can uh, immediately start working uh, after the procedure within five days you can uh, resume your daily activities and you can uh, attend your uh, workplace so that is one advantage and uh, uh, next advantage is compared to myomectomy the recurrence rate in uh, uterine artery embolization is very less so whereas the myomectomy has 50 percent recurrence rate within one year uh, the uterine artery embolization has only 10 to 20 percent recurrence rate in five years so and even if you want to undergo a repeat uh, procedure for recurrence it is a very safe procedure it's a daycare procedure so even if you undergo uterine artery embolization uh, second time uh, there are no uh, major uh, comorbidity, uh, morbidity or uh, mortality so it's a very safe procedure so these are the advantages of uh, uterine artery embolization compared to hysterectomy or myomectomy. One more advantage is uh, uh, as your uh, uterus is not removed, uh, the cardiovascular risk means uh, the risk uh, of getting a heart attack or uh, other uh, conditions like diabetes or brain stroke is less uh, when you uh, preserve the uterus uh, with the help of uterine artery embolization. So that is one more uh, clear advantage of uterine artery embolization. The common side effects are you may experience uh, after embolization for one or two days slight crampy pains in your uh, pelvis. Uh, this pain will be similar to your period pain. So it will be there for one or two days, maximum for five days. We can give medications for that. And if the fibroids are large, you may get uh, mild fever that also can be managed with the help of uh, medicines. So these are the common side effects of uh, undergoing uterine artery embolization. The uterine artery embolization is successful in 85 to 92 percent uh, cases. So most of the patients they will get immediate relief uh, for their bleeding or uh, anemia immediately after the procedure. So and also the pressure symptoms will decrease immediately after the procedure and the fibroid size will uh, gradually decrease it will decrease up to 90 percent in a six months period time it will gradually decrease to 90 percent so uh, there is no contraindication to size or number even there are, if it is more than 10 centimeter 15 centimeter we can do the procedure no issue uh, in any number of uh, fibroids we can treat so the medicine that we give through the uterine arteries it will block the blood supply to all the uterine uh, fibroids so we can treat any number of fibroids in a single setting generally the degenerated fibroids they will have uh, less blood supply compared to uh, non-degenerated fibroids so shrinkage in the size of the fibroid is less in case of degenerated fibroids However, the bleeding can be effectively controlled even if the fibroid is degenerated. So, although the shrinkage in size is less, the symptoms can be effectively uh, controlled even if it is a degenerated fibroid. The recurrence rate after uterine artery embolization is only 10 to 20 percent in five years. It is far less compared to the myomectomy. The myomectomy, the recurrence rate is 50 percent in one year. So it's a far better procedure compared to myomectomy or other minimally invasive procedures. Previously, it was thought that if the fibroid is more than 10 centimeters, we cannot do uterine artery embolization. The results are not good. But many recent studies have proved that uh, size is not a contraindication for uterine artery embolization. Even if the fibroid is more than 10 or 15 centimeters, 
the uterine artery embolization is very effective and safe and it can uh, effectively relieve your symptoms. So, the size is not a contraindication and the number of fibroids is also a, not a contraindication for uterine artery embolization. Uh, premature menopause means uh, if your period stopped uh, within uh, 40 years of age, then it is called premature menopause. After uterine artery embolization, there is a reported incidence of menopause in 5% patients. So, in those 5%, most of the patients, 90% of patients are over 45 years of age. So, in less than 40-45 years of age, there is no risk of uh, menopause. So, as the premature menopause means less than 40 years menopause, so we can say that uh, uterine artery embolization cannot cause or won't cause premature menopause. This is a common query for patients undergoing uh, uterine artery embolization. The fertility rates means uh, the chance of you getting pregnant is same after uterine artery embolization. Uh, means if uh, there are 100 women who didn't underwent uh, uterine artery embolization, the fertility rate in those age group is similar to the patients who underwent uterine artery embolization. Means there, are, there is no effect on fertility rate after uterine artery embolization. You can safely uh, become pregnant after uterine artery embolization. Only thing is we recommend to wait for 6 months after this procedure to uh, attempt pregnancy after the procedure. Okay, that is the only thing that we advise.